Hey down things, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a little theory that armies had surrounding a possible new tattoo in, let's say, a different spot. It's very interesting. And this was shown on the latest TV show. So we will get into that and talk about it. We also have a staff that has come out and talked about Jimin and how Jimin has treated them. I think you'll like this story. I know I loved hearing more about my baby. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tape. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to get into is this moment. That happened recently on BTS's reality TV show, Run BTS. If you don't know about Run BTS, it's basically BTS's own variety show. And I think it secretly lets the boys have fun and forces them to have fun since they never take a break. I don't believe they continue this show during comeback season. I think it just suddenly stops and then it comes back again when they have less to do. If not, like they actually still do it during comeback season, I am thoroughly impressed. Like these are full day shoots and require a lot of energy. But anywho, a new episode drops every Tuesday for me. And this new episode was run BTS episode 131. And it was probably one of the most hilarious episodes they ever put out. BTS was basically playing a game as they go and get soaked. So they stand on a board and push each other over or they get soaked by like super soaker guns. It's just hilarious to overall see the reaction how scared they are to get soaked. I mean, if it was me, if I'm already wet, I don't care if you make me more wet. The rest of the episode for me would just be me sitting there. Be like, yeah, bring on the water. But since all the members got wet and a lot of the members decided to wear white, they knew what they were doing. I don't think I've ever seen Cookie or Jimin wear that much white. I am joking. Cookie was wearing a long sleeve shirt and some black shorts. I think. Then he wore a robe over all that, but the black shorts he was wearing were very short. And this made a lot of people kind of freak out. Why are his shorts so short? Why is he doing that to us? Cookie, you devil. But we are not here today to talk solely about Jungkook's shorts. Of course, armies have an eye of a hawk and probably even better eye because they are going frame by frame to really analyze and take apart each shot to see if they can find anything. Interestingly enough, it looks like they did find something interesting. One of the scenes where Jungkook was sitting in the glass box and basically they dumped water on him. You know, it's part of the game, whatever. You see Cookie cross his legs and it reveals under his robe the black shorts he's wearing, but it blurred out the black shorts a little bit. Of course, theories immediately surface of why Big Hit editors would blur out a pair of black shorts. Why is that sensitive? Because it's not frowned upon to wear shorts in Korea. Unless black shorts are like the devil or something, in which case burn my closet. But theories like this popped up all online. One person on the tweetster said, why did they blur Jungkook's thigh? Jungkook's thigh tattoo? It's definitely strange to blur that out. However, you can zoom in on the thigh there, which I don't recommend ever doing because that's weird. But in this case, we need to take a look. So right there, you can clearly see where his thigh ends and where the shorts begin, even though it's blurred. It looks like they didn't blur it to that extent. Like to the point where you don't know what that is. You can still see the thing and it's clear. There is no tattoo there from what I can see. Nothing like that. It seems like the shorts may have just been too short. It was probably a little bit of a private part. Maybe it was like too close to the cheeks that the editors decided, okay, let's just blur it. And also it can be seen as kind of crude in a very conservative country to show like really upper thigh. Like this can be considered a private part, especially if things like male nipples are considered a private part in Korea, which I was told by you guys. I didn't know how sensitive that particular body part is, but I am seeing a lot more idols being a lot more comfortable with their bodies recently. So that makes me happy. I would definitely die if Cookie had a thigh tattoo. I can't even imagine what it would be and why he would choose to do it there. But it's very hot to think about, if true. I do think it's possible for us to one day see a full arm tattoo, as he could choose to wear a tank top on stage one day. However, I don't think we would ever see Cookie in underwear or really short shorts to reveal an upper thigh tattoo. It's just not happening, unless BTS does a Calvin Klein ad. But let's be real, if they ever do a Calvin Klein ad, it would be them fully clothed. We would be expecting nudes, but then made into a clown. I love being a clown, but just for BTS. Now back to Jungkook's thigh. There were definitely people that shared my same sentiment and believed that there were no tattoos there, but the editors just censored Jungkook because it was a sensitive area and probably too close to a private part. One person said this, but it's too close to his, I do agree. I think if they didn't censor it, armies would be dying over a whole other reason. Like Jungkook's upper thigh would be trending on the tweetster and we would probably all faint seeing what it looks like. 
But since they censored it, they obviously don't want us to see. What is thigh? I have never heard of this body part. Did Jungkook invent this new said body part? The thigh? This was definitely a hilarious debate online. I was laughing so much seeing all these posts about it. Not because I definitely know it's not true, because I don't, but because armies come up with these theories all the time. And it's just really funny. I do think BTS reads these and just has a big laugh. I'm glad I'm seeing more stuff about BTS recently. There was definitely a lot less stuff about them recently and not that many news articles talking about them, which makes me sad because we need to constantly talk about our kings and promote them. Because Jimin is someone who's been in the news and resurfaced. Apparently this airline staff or flight attendant came out and said something. Now I spoke about this before, but before it was a statement of the flight attendant directly. Whereas now it's the statement of someone who is friends with that flight attendant and knows what happened. Basically now you have a statement that was made and then proof of said statement. Basically if you don't know, a flight attendant came out and talked about how nice Jimin was to her. This was of course back when BTS actually took commercial airlines, I believe. I don't believe they can take commercial airlines anymore and they mostly fly private now. It's definitely better for their safety. Now this one flight attendant was an army as most of the world is now. And one thing that armies do and do because it's respectful is pretend you don't know who BTS is if you run into them at work or you can acknowledge who they are but obviously no photos or anything that would be seen as unprofessional. But most important if you pretend not to know who they are it gives BTS a sense of being normal which is why I believe BTS enjoyed flying commercial airlines a lot. But I guess this flight attendant wasn't aware of this silent rule and maybe she felt like it would be fine. I honestly don't think it's a big deal to ask and if the celebrity says no they probably have their reason and don't take it personally and just go about your job. But she ended up sitting next to Jimin while she was not on duty and asked Jimin for a photo. A lot of people were saying Jimin had a right to say no and he does. Like maybe if you feel like you look ugly but from what I've noticed is people often take pictures to just keep in their camera roll. They don't even post it. It's just something to remember. Hey I met this person. So usually I think there has to be a big reason for a celebrity to say no. But everyone is different. If you're uncomfortable taking a photo at that time then you shouldn't be forced too, right? Jimin's on the plane. It's his alone time. He doesn't get much of that. But Jimin did turn down the photo but offered something else which is just as good. Jimin very cutely said, I'm sorry, can I give you an autograph instead? It's very nice. And I think there's definitely idols out there that would be like, no, and go about it very rudely. But Jimin didn't want to leave the flight attendant hanging there. And obviously it shows how much he loves ARMY and will try his best to accommodate. Now this other flight attendant did come out for an interview, like not too long ago, very recently, and actually parroted this story because it was one of her coworkers. And this confirms that it's likely true and Jimin is his sweetheart. I also heard this story shared on Weibo, Chinese social media, that Jimin actually organized the pillows and blankets on his seat for this flight attendant to make her job easier because they often repack the pillows and blankets to reuse. This way the flight attendant or cleaning crew doesn't have to sit there and fold the blankets or pick the pillows off the floor floor to wash. I don't know if they wash those. I hope so. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright, it getting taken down. So I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Link is in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel, helps make better videos on here. I have a video over there explaining that, which is free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.